Chapter 40. Okay, um, Tiberian Shaw's quote for the chapter. Warring birds, peaceful birds, life and death, kindness and menace, birds mirror the struggling in their own nature. Both war and peace are human nature. They are the nature of many creatures. It is hard to accept that these things will always exist. And why do you think that this is the quote? And do you think that, why, why? Because my prediction is that right now, the whole family is going to be in a state of absolute war. When Charlie meets Lumila and the rest of the family. And do you think that Lumila, when she's stepping out, like, she's so teary. But when they go into the ch cap camper, what do you think is going to happen? You know. A huge explosion. Get ready for it, folks. Um, but then, actually, no explosion, right? At least, if they do, totally skipped the park. And they and if actually Lumila did explode or anybody else exploded, they totally skipped the whole part. So that's good. And now, suddenly, um, Lumila's like, come back then, let's get you back. We've been more worried about you today, mister, than we've been worried about your dad. So if that's right, if that's true, do you think that means that Charlie's dad's okay? Of course. I mean, Charlie's dad, if he was okay, then, and if the surgery went all right, well, of course, that would be great, right? Charlie's dad would be healed over here, everything, and he would be peaceful. And why do you think that Graham had been shaking? He had been shaking with tears. Maybe she was, but she was maybe shaking with tears of happiness, right? She was like, oh, my, finally, he's healed. And you, and you, and you of course, cry with joy. You're not like... You're not like, wow, he's healed. Let's get out of here now. He's healed, so who cares? You always cry and be, and you're really emotional. So do you think that's what happened to Graham and Charlie just mistook it for something bad? Yeah, I, I think that's what happened. Now, chapter 41. Do you think that, um, do you think that if the surgery went good um do you think that charlie's dad when do you think he's gonna come back my estimate in a few months i mean for first he has to heal he has to get better sort of you know and after that he can take the plane back to san diego maybe he's gonna have some difficulties slash problems but in a few days maybe a few weeks it's gonna be totally all right and it's gonna be functioning regularly and normally So, um, do you really think that um, happy and relief crying, like, were you surprised that Charlie didn't even know that much about human emotions or not? I wasn't actually that surprised because, like, yeah, Charlie's just that kind of guy. I mean, you just can't tell expressions at times. It's just really hard at times. Um, and I've read a lot of books where kids, like, it's so hard to read expressions. It's like, you're like... Um, and sometimes it was hard for me too. It's like when my mom was mad. Well, of course I know that, but at times I just don't, if, I don't know if my mom's happy or not. Something like that. Like you really need to study emotions and physiology to really get the hang of it at times. Um, have you ever thought that bursting into tears is actually a really weird um, way because it's like bursting? Not really. It always is like, burst ah, and you cry like especially if you look at cartoons they're like something like bursting and you know tears don't go like this they're like go like this you know and onto the ground where they make a puddle and it's sort of like bursting chapter 42 because chapter 41 was actually pretty short 
And so, um, do you think that um, Dad, now that he's sort of better, um, and do you really think that the Sunday Burst list was Charlie's amazing accomplishment? And do you think that Dad, in a way, sort of got better because of the Sunday Burst list? Yeah. And now, Charlie also thought about all the people that he had met, right? And um, do you think that a people list would also be good? with the bird list. Yeah, so Charlie's not that very social, so knowing more people and enjoying people, maybe, not not maybe as much as birds. Charlie's probably gonna still love birds more, maybe. But still, enjoying people more, I think that's just gonna be a great step for Charlie. Um, yeah, mentally, physically, everything, really. And now, um, so now dad's sort of like davis honey and then he falls asleep for 10 minutes and then he looks at joel and jake is like hey how are my buds and um and it's a few minutes later he's like charlie why do you think this is happening probably because his brain is like no this is not working the controls are not working okay the best thing to do right now let's see is to just shut down Okay, I think we're better. Let's see. It. Ah, not working. Shut down. Um, maybe it's working. We're pretty much rested. Our battery's good. Let's just try one more. Ah! And it maybe sort of like that. Or maybe he's just really, really tired. So, and have you? And did you really think that um, Charlie's dad like does? When somebody's really hurt, does that remind you of something um, of that person did when he wasn't hurt? Well, not really. Like shaking the story, like you fall asleep, so you have to shake, and then you fall asleep again, shake the stories out, something like that. I mean, but not really, unless mentally. Actually, not really. I I, I can't think about it. Um, now. Chapter 43, which is second to last chapter in the awesome book, The Sutton Neighbors. We are almost finished, people. Um, do you think that Graham really does have a crush on Dr. Spielman? Yeah. I think that, doc, that Graham is like lovey over Dr. Spielman. Spielman. And now, um, now, um, Ch Charlie's dad finally meets Ludmila. Um, and so, and then um, Charlie says, like, is that a, a Mars Ludmila? And then, of course, this time, Ludmila bursts into tears. But do you think that it's sort of sad, but in a way, do you think it's also happy? In a way? Yeah, I think so. Chapter 44. But I have a question. Here's the thing. When you when everything happened over and went, if you had been going on the plane, how would you have felt? In a way, I would have felt sort of sad that our adventure was over. But in another way, I'll be like, ah, returning to home, sweet home. But mostly I would actually be pretty disappointed that the adventure was already over. But at least Charlie's dad is all right, which is the important thing. Um, now, the Tiberius Shaw quote of the chapter is, what can we learn from about being human from watching bird behavior? Perhaps that tiny community spirit, spirit bird, Australia's superb fairy wren, gives us the best example. Their whole red world truly flourishes, only truly fl flourishes when each bird within it acts in a manner that's kind. Hmm. Manner that's kind. I almost said, I think I said matter, but manner. Tiberius Shaw, PhD. What do you think that he's saying about human behavior and, well, um, and how we should act? We should be all kind to each other so we can be sort of like a community. I mean, we're already a community, I mean, I mean, maybe. But like, if you're in a city, if you live in a city, do you really know your neighbors? Like, do you, are you, do you talk to them a lot? Are you like, hey, or are you just like, oh man, I have to go to school. Oh man, I have to go to school, fresh, fresh, fresh. And you know, like if you live in an apartment, do you really know your neighbors a lot that much? 
Not really, right? But if you but if you live in sort of a more small town, you get to know everybody. You just know everybody. Like top to bottom. So, um, do you really think that um that the Trumper Swan um, and Sandhill Cranes, do you think that they're actually that they're actually gonna see it? Yeah, I know that they're gonna see it sometime. And what do you think that Charlie is going to be when he grows up? I think that he is going to be a birder or a scientist. And and in the end, did you like how everything worked out? Uh, you know, um, Charlie says like they should probably visit Nebraska and Wyoming, and um, Ludmila is doing college again. What did you think about that? And do you think that um, Ludmila actually is going to become a physical therapist? Therapist. And um, do you really think that Graham is going to lock up? Is going to like Dr. Spielman even more up after this? And now, um, I want to talk about Charlie's bird book. What would you compare that bird book to? I would compare it to Tiberius Shaw's journal. That's exactly how it's connected. It's basically Tiberius Shaw's journal, but instead it's Charlie's journal, Charlie's bird book. Because he's, I, my guess, yeah, he's really going to be a professional bird birding person. He's gonna be a scientist, like Tiberius Shaw, or just a birder. Just a love, just a birder who just loves, loves, loves birds. And now, there's a letter from Tiberius Shaw. Okay, did you even believe that there was a letter from Tiberius Shaw? I was like, mouth drops open. And now, um, there was actually um, a note from Tiberius Shaw. It's like, you must tell nobody. Were you shocked about that? And do you really think that one day somebody's actually going to be like, the Carolina parakeet is once again alive? Do you think that somebody's actually going to say that? Maybe. And even if that doesn't happen, there's hope out there. Remember, hope. Is a thing with feathers, right? Right. And what was your favorite part about this letter, anyway? Mine, the Carolina Perry was like, you must tell nobody, because I thought it was sort of exciting, like a spy movie. And, but um, really, I also liked how Tiberius Shaw praised Charlie of his bravery. That was another thing I liked because Charlie deserves that. And now. Um, of what do you think is um, like if you had been Charlie, how how would how would your mouth be? First of all, I would be cheering, laughing, and my mouth would be my smile would be so big, my mouth would begin to rip open. Well, maybe not like that. Maybe that's a little too dramatic, but you get my point, right? And really, do you what do you think that? Um, the cold plastic wrapped pellet uh, is a mystery snack, right? And do you really think that Charlie's actually going to take a bite out of it? Yeah, Charlie's really, really changed. And I like it. The only problem is, when I think of that pellet, I think of an owl pellet. Sort of dropping my taste, you know, dropping my appetite into a dark abyss. But remember, hope is a thing with feathers, and you should never give up hope that that owl pellet might be delicious. Last questions. Maybe I'm torturing you a little, but I want to test all your skills. First of all, the last questions, well, you know them by heart, right? What was your favorite part in these chapters? What was your favorite part in the whole book? What was your favorite character? What was your least favorite character? Well, how did you like the book so far? That's probably my favorite question, and you know why. Because you get to say what you like and what you don't like. And finally, predictions. So I want to do non-speaking, but I'm just going to answer those questions. And you have to answer them with me, but you have to guess which questions I'm answering. Which is actually going to be really, really easy because, well, yeah. But if you just don't figure it out, just answer all those questions anyway, okay? 
Because, but I'm just gonna see if you can figure it out. I re this is um, answer number one. I really like this book, um, and I really think that it was a great book because we finished it. It's really close to my heart now. Okay. Answer number two. Um, the fa my favorite character. Okay, maybe that's too easy. Is Ch is Charlie because he really changed, and I really think that he did a great thing. My least favorite character. Oh man, that's so easy. Um, is Jonathan Dylan Daniels because I can probably think of nobody else to really hate. Um, my favorite part is um is when Charlie saw the trumpeter swan, and my favorite, my other favorite part is also when Charlie saw the the grove of para of. Carolina parakeets. I keep on saying Carolina for some reason. Now let's see if you can tell the difference between which is which, okay? Which is from my from this section that we just read, and which is from the from you know the whole book. Which is actually really easy if you think about it, but still. And predictions? Hmm. Well, I can't really answer the predictions without giving them, so I'll just do that privately with myself. Remember. Ask yourself some quick predictions because I'm pretty sure you're now a pro at it. And again, hope that you enjoy Sunday Verse by Sally J. Law. This is actually our first book, so.